Hey guys, Refresh to Knife Sharpening. <clears throat> I've got a, hopefully a fairly quick video to show you guys this evening. Um, it, it's not really a rant, but kind of, kind of something to make you guys aware of. Um, and, and a lot of you guys are, are real particular and some of you guys not so much. And some of you guys want to try new things with doing stuff like this, but really don't know how it's going to work out. Every one of us have done it. I've done it a lot in my early years. And, I, you know, I still do some things that, you know, I'm unsure about. But I've got a lot of experience up underneath my belt with stuff like this. And if I have the slightest doubt about it, you know, I'll try it on something else before I actually try it on the initial project. Um, and guys, if, if you want to, if you want to try something different and you don't know how it's going to turn out or something like that, you know, try to, you know, like if you're, if you're working on a titanium knife and you don't know how, whatever you're going to do is going to turn out on this titanium, uh, get on eBay and get a cheap little just piece of titanium. You, I've seen them on there for anywhere from two dollars up to twenty dollars i don't know what you'd use a piece that small for other than like a i don't know i guess there's multiple uses uses for it but uh one thing that i see two things that i see a lot of people using on these knives you know in trading and seeing what's in people's pockets and things like that and their their custom stuff they, you know, people use a lot of scotch brite and sandpaper. Now, there's nothing wrong with scotch brite and sandpaper, but it's how you do it. And, you know, the application that you're using it on, if you've got this, like the spider coat Nirvana here, you know, unless you really know what you're doing, modification wise and everything, don't. Send it to somebody or some company or something like that, uh, like Northern Knives. That's a good company. They'll do just about anything you want. Anything you can dream up, they can pretty much do it. Um, there's a, a, a guy on YouTube here. You know, he's not, I don't think that he's going to be doing it anytime soon, but his name's Stassa23. He makes some killer handles and uh, just a bunch of other stuff. He's got some awesome capabilities, but... You know, he's went through a bunch of trial and error and he kind of knows what works and what doesn't work. And, you know, I don't do the stuff that he does to that extent. I mean, I could if I had the tools and things like that, but, you know, I can make scales and things. But nevertheless, um, you know, send it, send it to somebody that save your money up and send it to somebody that knows what they're doing. Um or if you have multiple pocket clips and you're wanting to alter it or whatever, you know, get the worst looking pocket clip you have and try whatever that you're going to do on it. And you know what? If it turns out bad, it was already jacked up to begin with. If it turns out good, you know something that you didn't know before. And the, the reason I'm making this video is, is particularly these two blades right here. I got these in trade. And while I'm thinking about it, I am looking for, I'm desperately looking for a Benchmade 710-1401 Blue Black G10 M390 uh, blade, blue standoffs on the back, real neat looking blade. Uh, email me if uh, you guys know where I can get one or if I can trade you out of one or something like that. I've uh, got to make a deal with a, with a gentleman on here. Um, but here, here's some evidence while I'm showing this to you guys. And guys, I have used sandpaper on stuff before, and you guys can see this hardware that I've done here on this, uh, 0561. And it turned out really nice, but there again, I knew what I was doing. And you can tell that I've I've used this thing the past few days quite a bit. Tape residue all over it and plastic and everything. This thing, these things are made to use. They're not 
safe queens. They're not to win a beauty pageant. You're going to get scratches and scuffs and everything on it. That's not what I'm saying. But uh, check this pocket clip out. See all the sandpaper marks in it where somebody's just dug into it. Um, and then what really kills me when somebody uses sandpaper or scotch bright when they don't go in just one direction, they go in multiple directions. That is so hard to fix. If you go in one direction, it's a little little easier to fix or hide or whatever. But when you go in multiple directions, it's just, it's a nightmare to attempt to fix. Um, but that right there, that, that's a simple little fix. I mean, you can pop another one on there, no problem. But there's nothing wrong with this clip. If this was just a beater and you didn't care how it looked, whatever. But, you know, I try to keep all of my stuff, not just my knives, my tools, everything, my kids' toys, whatever, in, you know, the best condition that I can. Um, and, you know, I'm not talking crap about nobody here. I'm just, you know, saying how it is. This is a Spyderco Nirvana. Uh, these things are a little over $400 if you got to buy one. This is not something that, that you want to try something new on. <clears throat> There are plenty of, of titanium knives out there. You know, for instance, like uh, I think it's called the CRKT Pilar. It's like 23, 24, 25 bucks, something like that. Uh, if you jack that thing up, you're not out much. You jack this thing up, you're out a whole lot. Uh, rent money, car money, you know, vehicle repair money, you know, kids school clothes money, um, <clears throat> which means a lot, especially when you have a family. Uh, but this thing came with a nice little stone washed blade. Hope you guys can see it there. You can see how all the stone wash looks and titanium gets snail trails no matter what. Now look at this side. This right here is nice and stone washed. Looks real good. Look at this. Hope you guys can can tell the difference here. I'm gonna hold it in a few little spots here to try to get you to get a good look at it. That's not horrible, horrible, but for a knife of this caliber, it it sticks out like you know old folks say like a sore thumb, and uh, you know for this being a user, you know that's fine, but you know. I go to trade it or something like that. That's the first thing somebody's going to spot out. And the value or the trade goes, you know, they automatically use that to, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you're, if you're trading or buying something, you know, you want the best condition that you can possibly get under normal, under normal circumstances. But, uh, Guys, uh, stop using sandpaper and scotch bright. I mean, if you got a fixed blade and you want to scotch bright the whole blade and everything, that's fine. You know, that, that looks good. At least it's all uniform and going all one way, you know? Um, but, you know, when, when you start using real high grit sandpaper and putting big gouges and stuff, uh, you guys seen that, uh, that Bradford, uh, G3F Guardian flipper I got that thing was a nightmare it looked like somebody had run over it it was just, it was a piece of crap and that thing was beyond repair um but you know and, and another thing you know if you guys go to trade with somebody you know swap blades or sell one to somebody tell them everything you know if you dropped it and you've got a ding right here tell them about it if if uh you haven't sharpened or anything and it's got a little messed up part of the grind or whatever tell them if you don't have the box tell them you know be upfront about everything all at once that way there's no discrepancies there's nothing to hide there's no arguments there's no anything and then whatever happens from there happens so with that being said i just wanted to do, to do a quick little video and show that to you guys and kind of bring it to your attention um you guys have a good evening. Take her easy.